had some ideas of people who could donate their time to the Head Start program. We heard about parents. We heard about community helpers, um, like librarians, firefighters, people like that. We heard about grandparents, other family members. There's lots of people who could come in and um, help us out with various things. Um, I heard the staff talk about clerical type tasks, putting materials together, even weeding outside, putting toys together and equipment, um, talking about their jobs, things like that. So there's lots of things volunteers could come and do in the program. Now, hmm, what are some other ways we could get in kind? Because, well, if we have a, a if we're getting $2 million or more from the federal government, we have to come up with a lot of in-kind. Like, I can't even do the math on that. But 20% of that is a lot of money. Um, what are some other things we could do? Um, well, you know, if we ever needed some space to do something, whether it be to have a classroom or to have a big event or something like that, and we didn't have to pay for that space, that would be like a donation, right? Ah, oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. That would be really neat if someone would give us some free classroom space. That I would really like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, we didn't have to pay rent for it. Now, how would we decide how much it was worth if we didn't have to pay any rent for it? Well, we would use the market value. Like, for example, if they weren't so generous and didn't give it to us to use, what would have they charged for it? Then that would be the value of what they gave us in return. So that's cool. Um, let's think of some other other types of in-kind we might use. Um, hmm, parents. Somebody mentioned parents, you know, and that's really important. Now, parents, that's a little different because technically we're giving the service to them, right? We're educating their kids. We're helping them get their kids ready for kindergarten. That's really important. So they're, they're not necessarily donating their time, but if they were to help us do that job that'd be really cool because we wouldn't have to pay them so that would be like donating right that would be like an in-kind donation so anytime a parent is doing a teacher's work and that would be like reading to their child working on head start homework because that's like teacher stuff those are assignments that are based on child goals so that is that is not just just playing that's that's doing teacher work so if a, t a parent is doing that, we could pay them $12.49, but we don't really pay them. It's imaginary money. It's not real, right? It's not real. Um, but it's part of the match. It's very important, but it's not real. So every time a parent donates an hour to the Head Start program, we will pay they will be helping with our match by $12.49. That's cool. That's going to add up a little bit. So your job as a staff person is to help parents be teachers, right? Have them do their homework. Have them come in and help you out in the classroom. A teacher might sweep the floor, wash off the table, read to the kids, help with coats, all kinds of play outside, things like that. So think about what you could get a parent to do. Yeah. But now let's talk about the community a little more because that is a wide open space. We could get lots of dollars from the community, couldn't we? Let's think about what we might do with that. Hmm. Um, well, what if we got some donated stuff? Like, what if we went out there and we talked about how, you know, some of these kids don't have any books in their house and somebody gave us a bunch of books. We could donate the value of the books because we didn't have to pay for them. What if somebody said, you know what, that playscape you have out there looks awful. Those weeds, those suckers growing out of those trees. Could we come in and clean that up for you? Say the master gardeners or somebody wanted to come in there. Yeah, come on in. We could, we could get in kind for their hours of doing that because we didn't have to pay them. That'd be cool. We should do that. Yeah. Um, let's think of some other things we could do. Um, oh, you know, some of these kids could use some extra help, right, with their development. You know that early intervention staff help us all the time. Did you know we don't pay them? We could never pay them enough. We don't pay them. They're paid by the school district. 
Therefore, every time they're in there working, that's an in-kind donation. That's awesome. That adds up. And the same with those CTSS workers. We don't pay them. Solutions pays them. That's another great way to get in kind. Same with SEP workers. We're not paying them, but they're helping us a lot. So that's cool. Yeah, there's lots of different people like that. We need to get really, I'm talking to you serious now. We need to get really creative about thinking about where we can get this in kind. Let's think about the community. Really be thinking, where could you get free stuff, free space, free time from people? I just thought of something else. Oh, I just thought of something else. I know that one thing that we, Alicia, you know, teacher Alicia, Alicia, she just got some baby bags from Birthright. There's some little group made these. We didn't have to pay for them. They're going to be great. They have diapers in them, all kinds of things for, for new parents. That is a source of in-kind. We need to go get us. Well, how do we document this in-kind? Because you know, guys, you know that if it's not documented, it didn't happen. Like you've heard that before, right? Yeah. If you don't document it, it didn't happen. Right. And that's that's the deal on in-kind. That's the deal. You always have to document your in-kind. What is that phone ringing for? Let's ignore that. Wow, that's not good timing. Could be my husband, right? Mm -hmm. I think it is. When are you coming home? As soon as I get done with this fabulous in-kind video. Okay, so anyway, documentation. Very important. We need to have some sort of record that someone made a donation. And we have forms for that. They're on the folder, on the network. We'll give them to you. You can find them. And you must always sign them. If you don't sign it, it didn't happen. So it, it, any in-kind thing needs to have the name of the person who donated it. And then we got to have some value. It's got to have the value of the stuff, the value, the market rental value of the space, the value of the time. You know, a Head Start parent, remember what I said, 1249 an EIS staff, I don't know what they make, but we'd have to find out because that's the value of the time. Um, so again, we have to have that all recorded. Otherwise, it's no good. It's like writing a check. If you don't have who it's, who, who gave you the money, who it's to, what's the value of it? It's not a good check, right? We don't want that. So there you go. That's the green stuff. You need to fill out those forms correctly. Very important. And you need to keep an eye on how much in-kind you're generating in your classroom or your home base group. Because everybody's got to do their part on that. We can't have one staff who's getting all this in-kind and somebody else is just slacking. Everybody needs to do their part on that. All of us. I have to remember, too, when people come in here to do did-you-knows about their program, i got to go get my in-kind sheet. Very, You know, you just can't be blowing that stuff off because we need the money. All right, so in-kind, extremely important part of what we do, folks. Extremely important part of what we do. You know what? If we don't come up with the in-kind and we take that money, if we don't come up with the in-kind, we have to give it back. If we don't match 20%, we have to give 20% back. That would really stink. Nobody wants to be giving money back to the federal government, right? We just want to get it. So let's do our part and do in-kind. Okay, think about it. We do a lot of Head Start homework with parents. That's where we get a lot of in-kind. We got to think about the community. We got to think about, we already know parents are helping us. We're good at that. We, we can get that. But let's think about involving the larger community. How can they donate? How can they contribute? These aren't our kids. This is everybody's kids. This is a whole community. We need to think about how can we get the community uh, engaged in in-kind and donating to our program. So go out there and get some. All right? See you later, kids.